This letter is an account of how my husband, Shinran, when serving as a hall priest on Mount Hiei, left the mountain and secluded himself for a hundred days at the Rokokodu Chapel to pray concerning his next life. At dawn on the ninety-fifth day there was a verse presented to him in a revelation. I am recording this and sending it for you to see. Long ago, when he left Mount Hiei, he secluded himself for a hundred days at the Rokokodu Chapel to pray concerning his next life. At dawn on the ninety-fifth day, Shokudo Taishi appeared in a revelation and composed a verse for him. Straight away he went out that dawn seeking to establish a karmic bond that would save him in the next life and he thus encountered Master Honan. Just as he had secluded himself at the Rokokodu for a hundred days, likewise he went to see Honan for another hundred days, rain or shine or come what may. The teaching received from him, which Shinran firmly embraced, was simply that there is only one path leading out of samsara in the next life, for both the good and evil person alike. People would say all types of things about where Master Honan might be headed. They would even say that he was headed for a benighted rebirth. Whenever people would say such things, Shinran would reply, I am one who believes that I would even go along with him, since from realm to realm and from rebirth to rebirth, I am lost already. Also, I recall a dream I had while we were at a place called Seikai Village at Shimitosuma in Hitachi Province. It seems that there was a dedication ceremony for a temple building. The building stood facing east, and it was apparently on the eve of the ceremony. In the front of the building there were lanterns burning bright, and to the west of the lanterns in front of the building there were two Buddhist images suspended from the horizontal part of what seemed to be a shrine gate. In one there was no face to the Buddhist image, but only a core of light, as if it were the radiance of the Buddha's head. Distinct features could not be seen, and light was the only thing there. In the other, there was a distinct face to the Buddhist image. I asked what Buddhist images these were, and the person who answered, I have no recollection who the person was, said, The one that is only light is none other than Master Honan. He is the Bodhisattva Saishi. When I asked who the other was, he said, That is the Bodhisattva Kanon. That is none other than the priest Zenshin, that is, Shinran. Upon hearing this, I was shocked out of my sleep, and I realized that it had been a dream. I have heard that such things are not to be spoken to other people, for they may not think that such things spoken by this nun to be true. Therefore, I have remained silent, not telling other people about this. But I did tell my husband, Shinran, the part about Master Honan. He said, Among dreams there are many different types, but this dream must be true. There are many other instances of dreams in which people have seen Master Honan in one place or another as a manifestation of the Bodhisattva Saishi. The Bodhisattva Saishi is the ultimate in wisdom, so he appeared simply as light. I did not say anything about my husband being Kanon, but in my own mind I never looked upon him from that time forward in any ordinary way. You should ponder these things well. Thus, you should have no doubt concerning Shinran's birth in the Pure Land, however his death may have been.
With regard to this same matter, I have heard that our son, Matsukata, was also present at his death. It is a great joy for me to know how strong the bond is between parent and child.